good morning family I'm so excited today y'all today is the day let's see can I sit this up here nope oh yes okay let me adjust y'all so you can see me I look a mess it's 640 well it's 650 now it was 646 when I turned the camera on but I've been up since 530 eight months ago good morning family oh it's cold out here I'm trying to wait on the car to warm up well it's Monday morning the 23rd my husband's first day of work I know I told you guys that he was supposed to start last week and he was but the Friday before he started they pushed his um, start date up a week and they paid him for that whole week so he starts today and this Friday which he normally would have got a first check the next week this week he'll get a check for last week 40 hours so I thought that was awesome Amazon is such a good company to work for I love them so much um so yeah that's happening we've been up since about 5 30 it's 8 8 09 let me check my phone Oh, let me order my Dunkin' Donuts. It's 8.10. So, we've been up since about 5.30. He got dressed. He actually got there early. He's been there since 7.23. But he wanted to gauge the traffic. Kind of like what I did the first week. So, this week will be about gauging the traffic. He only works Monday and Tuesday, off Wednesday. And then he works Thursday and Friday. Versus me working, I work four days straight. Wednesday through Saturday, but he has a donut shift, sweet shift, day shift, 7 30 to 6, Monday and Tuesday, off Wednesday, work Thursday and Friday, off Saturday and Sunday. So, yeah, he got a sweet, sweet shift. So, that's going on. I'm in the car, warming the car up right now. I'm going to, of course, get me some coffee. And then I am going to go to Walmart, Wally World, and find something for dinner. I'm really thinking about this slow cooker meal. It's like a crock pot, chicken pot pie. But I'm not gonna make like a crust over it. I'm going to probably get some biscuits and then serve it with a biscuit on top. So we'll see how that turns out. I have the recipe in my phone. I need to get celery and carrots and frozen veggies and stuff and um, chicken breast. So. I'm excited to try it. I've only been using my Ninja Foodi as an air fryer. So I'm really super, super excited to try um, the slow cooker part. So that's what's going on this morning. Let's go get us some coffee, go to Walmart and get home. And just, I'm hanging out today. I'm home alone, just hanging out. I'm gonna cook a little dinner. I'm, wash a few clothes clean up a little bit I'll be back to chat I'm not gonna turn the camera on for all of that you guys have seen me cook clean and all that a million times so if something exciting happens I'll turn on the camera okay went to Walmart and forgot celery I think I'm gonna cook I think I'm gonna do the chicken pot pie for dinner but I, I forgot celery, and that's one of the things that you really, I just really like in my chicken noodle soup, chicken pot pie, whatever. But I don't know, we're gonna make it do what it do. So let me get all my ingredients together, and then while I cook, we can have a little chat. Okay, my head's probably cut off, but it's okay. You can see me. So, I'm just cutting up some vegetables, trying to get ready for just meal prepping for dinner I will show you what I'm working with uh -uh. that was a good catch <laughs> I'll show you what I'm working with shortly okay y'all let me show you what we got here I got uh, three chicken breasts I've already cleaned them 
and soak them in um, vinegar. We got some fresh green bell pepper. We've got a half an onion. We've got, I was supposed to put in a half a cup of celery. I don't think that's quite half a cup. That's all I had. Oh, it smells good already. We've got three rusted potatoes. You can use whatever kind you like. The recipe doesn't call for garlic. But I put a table, a teaspoon of minced garlic. We got one can of cream of chicken soup. Make sure we get all of that goodness. Uh oh, all of that goodness out of there. We got one cup of milk. And I had this can of chicken noodle soup. I didn't want the noodles to go in, but I did want that good old broth. So I put that in there. It just called for one pack of frozen vegetables. But this one didn't have corn, and I love corn. So I'm going to put a pack of frozen peas and carrots. Plus I didn't see the, I saw the vegetable medley and I like it, but it didn't, it had broccoli in it. And for this recipe, I didn't want the broccoli. So I also did a pack of frozen corn. And I'm gonna add some seasoning. I'm going to add garlic powder to taste. This however much you desire. And I'm going to add some of my chicken bouillon. Not a lot because this could be high in sodium. So we added a little chicken bouillon. And you guys, I was going to slow cook this. But I'm going to pressure cook it. So let's go ahead and take this over to the pressure cooker. I'm not even going to stir it. I am just going to. So we got it in the pressure cooker. If you're using a Ninja Foodi, this is for the air crisp, right? But this lid is for pressure cooking. Okay. I never use this. Bam. Okay. So we want to make sure that we close it. And then I'll pick you back up so you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to power it on. And then, oh, it does have slow cook. Which one do I want? I think I'm going to do... Hmm, let's try pressure on high and we're going to do 15 minutes and hit start. So it's going to start turning and once it's sealed in, once the pressure is sealed in, then this will stop turning and it'll start counting down. So we're going to let that do what it do. And it's not until it's completely done that we're going to make the biscuits. So we'll just let that do what it do. And we'll check back in 15 minutes. Being on the time team is so much different, y'all. Like, being on the time team is like... Y'all hear that loud hissing? That's the pressure cooker. Um, being on the time team is so different. It is such a nice change. Now, don't get me wrong. There, there is a lot to be on the time team. If you're not good with the technical side as well as the driving, you're not gonna make it. There's a lot to learn, there's a lot to remember. DOT regulations, there's a lot of DOT regulations. 
and you have, have to adhere to all of it. And if you don't, you could potentially lose your job. So there's a lot of pressure to be thorough and detailed and accurate. What I get from this is not that it's too much. I feel like it is really going to train my thinking on how to be more detailed. I'm excited to learn it. I'm super, super excited. I hope my husband gets the opportunity to come to the team uh, eventually if that's what he wants to do. Now that he is a full-time Amazon employee, then he can apply for wherever he wants to go. So we'll see where that takes him. But I'm really enjoying it. I'm really, really loving it. I think it was a good move for me and I'm super excited about where I go and what happens. Um, I've been in the guard shack a lot and I haven't had training to drive yet. There's a lot to learn in the guard shack. Being responsible for the merchandise that comes through the gate and the merchandise that goes out of the gate, that is a big responsibility. You have to make sure so many things are correct in the system. So our motto is verify, 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 because there are four points that you absolutely have to verify every time. So it's not just verify, it's verify, 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 verify. That's your reminder of everything that you have to verify. And even after you check the truck in, you need to verify one more time. So it could be a lot and it could be overwhelming, but I'm so excited for the opportunity to learn this. Um, it may be a couple of weeks before I get to um, drive or learn how to drive the hostler because there's so many people that have to be trained right now. Um, but my manager's still trying to figure that out. And it's okay because it gives me the opportunity to really learn the guard shack and be comfortable with that before I move to the next thing. So, yeah, um, I'm getting used to the eight, working the eight at night to 6.30 in the morning shift, probably about four or five o'clock every night, I start crashing. Um, I think it's because, you know, I really need to go check on that pressure cooker. It is so loud. I think it's because I'm used to working till like three and then getting home by four and six o'clock is about the time that I really start winding down. It's almost like the pressure is releasing, but I know it's not because yes, it was. I had it on vent, you guys. See here? This is bent, and this is closed, and I had it on bent. So it's, it, it started building up pressure, and it was releasing the pressure. So now, in a few minutes, this should start winding down. We'll check on it. Oh, that's my new vest. Um, you probably saw a video with me wearing that one. This is the rookie vest. This is for people that know what they're doing. I just took it because I want my boss to know I know what I'm doing already. <laughs> so, no, he wanted us to have two vests, and he intended on me having two of the transportation vests. Um, he said, you have to earn the other one. But I took the one you have to earn because it is what it is. I like that vest. I like it. Okay, so I get there about 7.45 every day. Gives me enough time to use the restroom, get my radio, label track, and all of that stuff. And it's straight outside to the guard shack. And the guard shack is non-stop. Now, Saturday night it was super slow and it made the time drag. So it helped me to appreciate that I really do like when it's moving, moving, moving. Because when it's moving like that, um, the time goes by fast. I do have to work this whole week. Um, Amazon doesn't stop because it's a holiday. Um, they do reduce schedules so people can enjoy their families. I think day shift comes in and leaves that first break for the day and then night shift 
comes in on their second break. That's not the case with the time team. Trucks of merchandise are coming in and going out. 